Hi guys, I'm Exact Cas, and welcome back to another episode of Captain of Industry. In the last episode, we uh, finally started our diesel production and we started planning out what a slightly more long term copper and iron, iron and copper um, smelting will look like. It might not be our ultimate solution, but it's definitely going to last us through to the mid of the game, I would think. Um, and then we just, we saw we actually ran out of um, out of concrete. So that's something that we'll have to fix straight away. What we did do is we did finish um, research on the groundwater pump and crop rotations. So those two things is something that we can actually input straight away. So let's have a quick look at crop rotation before we um, unpause the game. What is this value? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, that three, whether it's done three or what's what, what it's on about. Now, in terms of crop rotation, so keeping it empty um, gives us natural replenish. So it, it works with the natural replenish rate, which is absolutely zero at the moment. Oh, but that's uh, it's all good. It's, it's, it's all 100%. So that's all fine. No problems whatsoever. Then the next one we can do is we can... Um, basically use the green manure to put some extra um, replenishment of fertility in there. Uh, is that beyond the natural replenish rate or I don't know. So what we could do is we could just run it empty for a cycle. And then what we'll do is we'll go and grab a potato again and then potentially a green manure, something like that. And I don't know what the number is. What does this number do? Ah, here we go. Each farm can be set up with a crop rotation schedule up to four seasons long. Ah, crops will be grown in order um, from left to right. Any missing crops will be automatically skipped. For example, to set up a two crop rotation, select two crops um, in the schedule and leave everything else blank. Okay, crop rotation can be important for farm fertility. So potentially all we do is we do it, then we leave it empty um, and we run the natural um, replenishment. Uh, then we do that one. Uh, maybe maybe let's let's have a look at that. That's a uh, fair. So this takes three seasons, three seasons, three seasons, two seasons, right? Is that is that what it is? I have no idea. Um, with it. Well, that's what it is. That's what it's saying, right? It's four seasons long. And I'm assuming with seasons it means um, like winter, summer, autumn, spring kind of thing instead of three rounds of of this three seasons worth of this but anyway we are fully loaded up on on food over here so uh, that is of interest at the moment this side will need to do a very similar thing so let's move straight onto green manure on this side then we'll go another round of potatoes and then we'll just leave it empty so we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side we can upgrade to irrigated ones but we need some more things um, and of course, this thing is paused, so let's unpause that um, and keep it going. Our food is uh, is looking pretty good, so we don't need to worry about that too much. So that's crop rotation. Now, we've done groundwater pump. Uh, I believe this area here has groundwater right over here, so we can actually start doing that. What's happening with our water situation here? So this is fully loaded. I do think if we do have the um, the, the, the the stuff available the the construction parts available let's shoot let's add a little bit of extra um let's rotate that and add a little bit of extra rainish what you gotta be kidding me the terrain is too low how how on earth is that a thing that is super weird i didn't know that we had um, stuff like that. Can I see? That is the terrain grid. So I've no idea why the terrain grid is causing me issues here. Is there a... That is really quite interesting. Um, it should show contours, right? Anything else that shows contours? I don't know. But that's that's super weird. That That actually worked. It does work, right? There we go. I don't know. There was something funny. Uh, there was something funny there. So I think we'll we'll go ahead and do that. I will um, switch that one on. So we just make sure we save a little bit more um, water. Now, 
Um, coal is coming up. We're not actually mining coal yet. We are just producing coal um, through the through the coal maker, which is um, currently doing its thing. And even these things are filling up, but we will need to, the mining tower is set up, so we will need to get that all sorted out. Um, groundwater is fine. Uh, let's head into research quickly and see what we've got over here. So we've got crop rotation, irrigated farms, uh, we've got vegetable farming, which allows us to grow vegetables, which um, is not a bad idea. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, I think we did get an extra update now. I think it's at, at um, 0 0.4, 0 0.4.8 or something like that. Um, we're up to that right now. Now, transport balancing, somewhere we will have the ability to actually do some smart stuff. Retaining walls is quite interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing what that would look like in terms of our mining. Uh, efficient concrete. So now the question is, we've got concrete all the way over here. That's the first thing we need to do. Now, if we do normal concrete, we can basically do concrete mixer, cement, gravel. Uh, and I believe we have a fair bit of cement um, stored already. Um, and water gives us six concrete. We can also um, crush um, slag in order to do that, which is not the worst idea because we do generate slag. So we can cap capture that slag, use the slag and use it for concrete. Now, if we go to the... Um, oh, cement is made using limestone, so we can we, we certainly need to have a look at that at some point fairly soon, but I believe we have a fair stock of cement at the moment. Now, if we go to efficient concrete, that is cement, sand, and sl uh, crushed slag gives us 12. So it doesn't really matter too much. Gravel can be ch turned into sand, which is also quite a, of quite a bit of interest. Um, now, so I don't think we need to worry about waiting for, for that one. Um, because we'll start out with this and we'll just double up our production with this one um, once we've done the research and we can start um, mining a little bit of sand. Settlement water is of interest because that gives us more unity, but it's not something we um, super need at this point in time. We probably need to um, um, work out what, or, or start sorting out some of these things a little bit more. And we can go to Research Lab 2, which is also quite interesting because now you need to create lab equipment for research, um, for the Research Lab 2 items. So at some point, um, we will go to Research Lab 2 and then we'll need to start producing stuff to even get to this. So what I think we should be doing is maybe just filling the rest of this. Oh yeah, Captain's Office is of, of, of use as well. Eviction. Nice. This, oh, well, this is all kinds of edicts you can use to um, to uh, just, just optimize some of your, your items. Vegetable farming is of interest. I think that's something I want to do. I do want the transport balancing. I do want the efficient concrete. Maybe let's start off with the efficient concrete so we can switch over to that fairly quickly. Um, vehicle management gives us the ability to cap additional vehicles. How far are we from our cap at the moment? General. Where do we, where do we see? Oh, there, there it is. Well, oh, we're miles away. Sorry, we're miles away from that. So that's not a, a priority. This could be, um, I think then the captain's, uh, well, actually, then let's go into vegetable farming, go to the captain's office, um, and we'll come back and have a look after that. Even the retaining walls we can start getting as a, as a piece of research. Um, once we've once we've done a few things, so um, we 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 will need way more coal. But so let's um, where where is where are we going to need? Um, okay, so what I would like to do is set up something a bit of a um, assembly facility, maybe somewhere over here. So we may um, decommission some of this stuff and set up a bit more of an assembly facility somewhere like this. So I think. Um, and water can be obtained directly from over here, but also from over here. So let's start working on our um, on our concrete mixer. So what do we need there? We have cement, right? We've got 400 cement, so we'll have a fair bit of cement going on. We are currently doing what with slag? Just double check what we, what's the situation with slag looking like. I think slag needs to go in here. So we don't we're not actually capturing slag at the moment. Uh, we have the facilities to do that. So we'll we'll build these things um, once we can. This thing has now been decommissioned. 
um, and we do have a number of iron plates ready to go. So that's all good. Um, this isn't being uh, demolished because we have nowhere to, uh, to store. Oh, we should have places to store it. Right, that should be fine. Okay, concrete mixer. Um, now, natural groundwater is over here. So let's let's start it up. Uh, limestone will be over there. Ooh, could we? Yeah, I, I just don't want to um, be in the way of, of adding further farming. So if we do that, we could run an entire extra stretch of farms down this way. Um, and up there, maybe. So maybe all, all I'm saying is maybe I started over here so it doesn't actually impede on this side, and we'll do about see about water on that side. Okay. Now let's uh, let's leave that be. We'll uh, we'll start it in line. Well, on this side of that line. So a concrete mixer. Um. Yeah. Let's just do that. So there's a concrete mixer over here. We will um, at some point do our own our own stuff. So for the time being, um, let's do that. So what we will need is crushed slag. So do you crush the slag on the other side? Probably not. Probably we'll just have the one um, area, the one crusher um, ready to do, go here. Okay. So that's crushed slag to go in here. So crush slag into a, a storage. So let's first get the storage in place. So a loose storage for... Or slag um, and we've got multiple places here so let's just let's just get it pretty close by I think I think that's kind of oh uh, if I do it this way we're blocking other stuff so I won't be doing that but what we can do is we can certainly do something like this so it's pretty close by and um, then we'll put um, our crushed slag in that way this will have to be uh, Ooh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Crush slag. Um, then the next thing we want to do is move on to um, the crusher. Now, the crusher, I think the crusher can go directly in there. I don't mind that. And we'll do it on this side so it doesn't actually impede this way too much. So that's okay. So we're sparing on our conveyors. That's okay. I think that's going to be... Uh, hang on. Let's just have a quick look at this. So this can crush at a rate of 24. So if we don't do that, we can put two crushers on there should we need to in the future. Though, let's have a look at this. If we're ups upscaling this thing. Wow. So we're never ever going to need more than that. We may, however, want to run multiple ones. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually rethinking this. So if I um, clear that out, clear this one out. Okay, let's let's redo that. So let's get our loose storage slightly further away. So we could potentially run up and over towards the other side. Ah. In which case we should probably run it from this side over to that side. Right, something like this maybe. How much room do we have? There's a fair bit of room. It's all the way on, on this side. So let's... Um, mm, if we're going to expand that way, let's do... Let's give ourselves a little bit of space so we can actually go up and over and back down again. So let's do something like that, okay? For the time being, we'll, uh, we'll just do... Well, you know what? Let's leave it as that. Now, the next thing that I think we'll do... Uh, we, we now need to get the, the crusher in. Now, the crusher, I think, is going to do uh, a good enough job. So we'll do that. We'll get another loose storage for just um, slag altogether. And that one needs to be able to go up a little bit. So if I do that into there, that will work. At a, yeah, that actually looks pretty nicely. So that one will be a slag. And we'll um, set that one up to actually um, request some stuff. This one will be crushed slag. Here we go. And then we'll move it out this way. Now, we also need water over here, which actually is going to be perfectly suited to just go. Um, and in, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it here. And that will mean we should be able to run it 
um, through other directions as well. So we'll tie that one in. That's okay. We can actually run it across to others if we need to from that location. This one will have to be a water storage. And we would like to keep that one um, at least a little bit busier at the start. And then um, what, do we, what do we still also need? We will be um, using crushed slag, I think. We can do both anyway. Um, we also need to bring in cement. So I'll do unit storage um, somewhere over here. Something like that, right? We'll keep it nice and tight. And then we'll run. Oh, we can't actually build this at the moment. Okay, so that's okay. So this one will have to be cement and we'll have to put a cement production line or something to that side. That's okay. Uh, what we will need to do, however, is get this one to work. So what I'll do is I'll run that pretty tight like this and so on. So we can extend that and this one should be able, to, ah, it won't be able to go over. Let's, um, let's quickly redo that situation there. So if we do a U-shaped conveyor, that should be okay. So now it should be able to go over that um, and actually even the run on top of it. <laughs> yeah, that, that should work. Okay, there we go. So that will be concrete. Now concrete um, for the time being, I, I want to put a big battery of, of assembly over here. So I might um, redo that as, as, as we go. So for the time being, all that that needs to be is a bit of a loose storage, uh, which we will we will be using a, a buffer for anyway. Um, now the question is, if we're expanding this way, where do we want um, that loose storage to go to? I don't want to do too much in terms of conveyor, so I'll, I'll probably move this thing. So let's just do that. So I'll put some loose storage um, in there. Okay, all in all, good. Now, what I need to do is um, get all of this uh, constructed. I can maybe hold off on, on that other one over there. So we'll need all of that to get constructed. Uh, did I get a warning message somewhere? I have no idea. Population is slowly growing. What's going on over here? We haven't repaired the ship at all. Uh, we need to enable the repair, um, which will cost us a little bit more than I'm willing to pay at the moment. Um, this thing is still being... Oh, there's still some electronic components in here. So we need... Uh, actually, we could do this, right? Uh, if I wanted to do these ones, it's construction plots with electronics. So I could actually do something like that. Um, that one's not running at the moment. So let's... Um, Let's switch off. Oh, actually, let's switch on that one and unpause it. So we'll run a little bit of workers through there. So they should now um, collect some stuff and, and get something going. What we do need to do, however, is probably throw in a couple more of these guys um, so that we can uh, get a few more trucks going. That should help us out a little bit. Well, that took us a fair bit of time. I'm hoping we can get things moving a little quicker. So slush slag. You're going to get slag. Excellent. All of that should be looking pretty good. You're going to request some stuff. Yeah, you should be pretty close to... Um, you're ready to go. Oh, we're out of... Um, we're out of construction parts. We are creating construction parts, right? We're missing... Oh, we're missing concrete. <laughs> we're missing concrete. Okay, we... We did use some construction parts. This one is not even got construction parts yet. Um, oh, we don't have any of this. My goodness, my goodness. We are building stuff, but we don't have anything. Okay, let's go to the world trade piece and quickly see about... Ooh, what is contracts? Quick trade versus... Oh, contracts. There's any, isn't any contract established. You can establish one and then assign it to one of your cargo depots. Okay, interesting. Okay, we'll not do that right now. What we will do, however, is get ourselves some additional concrete. What, we have concrete? Oh, come on. Where is our concrete? At the, oh, it's probably over here. Ah, oh, well, there's 20 there. Where is the other? Where do I have concrete stored? I've got concrete stored over here. 
Oh, don't keep it full, guys. Now that it is full, I, I did, did that so that we can get that. Now, uh, anyway, we didn't need to do that extra purchase, but it's okay. We we don't. It's not like we're hurting for um, for this at the moment. So again, we don't need to keep this thing full. Let's just keep it half. Which uh, oh no 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 no. Oh, actually, no. That's fine. That's exactly right. That's okay. So hopefully we'll we'll be able to sort out a few things. You should be able to run. Yeah, you're running. And then hopefully you should be able to run. I didn't actually realize that even these needs the um needs the construction parts too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought that so it's just the pipes that's okay then. That's all good. Uh, so water is there. We don't have anything. Efficient concrete is done. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. If we were to switch over to efficient concrete, we also need sand. But everything else is then, ooh, actually, we will need much less cement. We'll take more crushed slag. Okay, we're just going to leave it with inefficient at the moment, but we'll set up ready to go um, for the other setup as well. Uh, we'll get better with, uh, with moving some of these things around. Did we get additional vehicles out? We did. So uh, the extremely busy network should hopefully start to slow down. I do like the fact that I can now see what's going on with the jobs. Now, these guys are moving things a little bit. So we are actually producing a fair bit of coal. I uh, It's obviously very intensive from the perspective of, of this. So can I, once we get a little bit of this going on, which is not actually happening, missing input, not actually happening because we're pretty overwhelmed at the moment. Hmm. Need to sort that out. They don't have anywhere to go with these things. So I think I will be dropping one or two of these guys. Okay. Um, so that we can uh, allow some more vehicles to do the uh, um, to go and work um, anywhere else, basically. So this is slowly moving things around. There's a, wow, it takes a lot. But anyway, we'll we keep we keep able dropping this off, um, and there's a fair bit of coal available, and we we use the coal as well, of course. Now, can we get some of this to actually work? So that is well, it's slowly going. I don't think we're building anything anymore, right? We shouldn't be using any of those parts uh, apart from over here. So once that's done. Um, we should be all good. Then we can start moving on the rest. Now that should get slag, but we're not actually creating any slag at this stage. So the question is, what's our other option here? Just gravel directly. Okay, you know what I'm going to do then for the time being is let's switch the, off this stuff. Well, actually, we'll fill, fill that one up. This one will for the time being quickly move to gravel and ask for it to be... Um, brought in yeah that's okay so we'll do that a little bit temporarily um, hopefully there's a fair bit of gravel that is not just going to be dumped out over here I'm not sure we're actually getting any gravel right do we have anything that we can use this is filling that up which is all good so we're getting our iron ore filled up we are slowly probably going to start seeing some some um, some some copper ore in here, but yeah, this guy is is very slow towards getting into where it wants to go. If we have a look at our mining designations, um, it's a little overwhelming. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of digging towards the side that can still happen in this area. That is gravel, right? Oh, that's rock. That's interesting. So even even hang on, even this. Okay, 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 okay. What are my options otherwise? It's basically gravel, which needs to be crushed from rock or crushed slag. So absolutely slag is the right thing to do. I'm not sure we're going to have gravel at all. <laughs> crushed slag it is then. Um, and that doesn't need to be kept full because it needs to run through that process. So it's fine. Keep switching that thing back on again. Uh, we will need to make a plan. This is waste. Wow. Yeah, uh, we need to take it slow and steady and not um, lose out on things. So concrete is dropping because we're doing this, right? And now we are seeing 
um, production of our construction materials part twos. Excellent. There it goes our very first production of that. So we should be able to get this all sorted out. And that should then um, slowly start to run. This thing needs to be concrete slabs. So if concrete slabs needs to be delivered somewhere, they can do that. Excellent. This should finish off. Wow. It was just a little piece there. That one needs... Do we have rubber? What's our situation with rubber? Rubber is still... Is still um, there's still some rubber there. That one's being finished off. Excellent. And then... What are you just dumping in some water? What, what is on there? Oh, that's the crude. Okay, interesting. How is this going, actually? Yeah, so power is looking pretty good. We... Uh, we could have run a pipe over here. To make sure that this thing fills up but anyway i think that's gonna be okay we've got it stable now we've got it stable now so things should be um should be working pretty smoothly in terms of moving things around and getting everything built vegetable farming is done so if i quickly have a look at this now what i can do is i can have a look at crop rotation yet again so now um it's basically just the difference i have no idea whether we get a buff Holy moly. What's going on here? Oh, there it is. Whew. I'm not sure if we get a buff if we do multiple sources. Yeah, we do get a buff. Carbs and vitamins. It's vitamins. So, we need to. And this stores them separately. We can do storage of both. Or, no, no, no. In total only? I've no idea. So, now you can see we can actually... Well, no, we could have dumped it all together. Now we can dump stuff from over here. Yeah, through there. That's the update. We've got potatoes. Ah, oh, we need we need we need place to store more food actually, um, and we don't have well construction parts. is a bit of a challenge, so I'm kind of tempted to do something here as a temporary, or do I do it all the way over here? Yeah, let's do it over here instead. Um, I could do this. Tax 30. I only have 13. Now, let's just store it in there then. We don't need to worry about that at the moment. Vegetable farming done. Efficient concrete is done. Okay, we really need to make our way. Okay, so that's all done now. The next thing we're going to focus our attention on is getting the rest of this stuff built. Um... So let's activate um, let's activate this one for construction and this one for construction and then we need to move on to those. So that's the next piece that's being built. Um, I'll hold off a little bit on the conveyors just so that we uh, give ourselves a little bit more room to get something done. Uh, we need to create more, more more of these things. So at the moment this assembly is not is not super effective. Um, we are doing a little bit of this. Let's um, let's stop doing that, please, and create uh, these guys instead. Thank you. We ha we actually have a fair bit of a, a fair bit of the electronics available. Uh, no, no, no. I thought we had electronics available. Really, we don't have electronics available. It's holding pretty steady. What are they doing over here? That's mechanical components. And then this one is trying to make those. We're not making any um, vehicle parts at the moment, which we also need to do. I do I do want us to start um, ramping up some stuff, but it's not going to work at the moment. Um, I want to get um, our whole assembly um, line of stuff sorted. This is, oh, this is full. I love it. I love it. And this is filling up on coal. That's cool too. Yeah, we need to get this thing working. Um, so in order for us to do that, let's quickly, we can um, kind of unpause these so that they can be built. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Can we, can we buy some of these? No, we cannot. We can. Oh, we only need to be more effective at what we're doing ourselves. 
But our diesel should be fine. Our food is absolutely perfect. There we go. That's running. This one should be all good. And then we can slowly start um, actually undoing some of these ones as well. That should be fairly close. Wow, 60. And this one, how much does that take? Only 30. Um, we should be able to sustain that a little bit. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. That's done. I would like you to do iron ore, please. Excellent. It's doing it already. We will need to... Um, uh, not, not that one. Uh, unpause this construction piece over here. Oh, and this one as well. Wow, it's just so much. I've, I, I, uh, I messed around a little bit with the construction pieces, I think. I messed around. I, I should have not built this before, before getting this up and running. Because now we, we, we're just waiting anyway. We have no slag whatsoever and we still actually do have. Oh, our concrete is now out. Captain's office is finished. Let's, uh, well, all we can do now is just get some edicts in place. Um, transport balancing. Yeah, that's something we can we can grab. Echo management. Settlement water. We can research settlement water. We can get more um, edicts. So we can uh, do water savers and things like that. We'll get our transport balancing and our retaining walls. And then we'll move to vehicle management. Housing number two, which will take us a little bit of while to get to. Um, we'll get the smart conveyor routing, whatever that means. I believe allow sorting. Yeah, that's the one. Um, and then at the end of that all, we'll add um, Research Lab 2 to it. Um, and then all of these, I believe, requires a Research Lab 2. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're basically, um, all of them is queued now. So we'll quickly, we continue to make our way through that, um, through that research, this stuff. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's, um, let's get this one built. And is this one deliverable is the question. And we will get that one built. Oh, these ones. What? Oh, that's the molten track. Okay, the molten track is quite cheap to build. Okay, that can be delivered over there. That's good. So that's starting to move. We should see some slag over here. See any slag in there. Hope we moved some slag over so we can get concrete going. That's almost full. Where's our, uh, sorry, where is our stuff? Is Did we see any slag arrive here? No, no, no. Mm. Oh, we're fully loaded on cement. <laughs> Just waiting, and we've got water. We're just waiting on the crushed slag. So we should have that sorted um, fairly soon. Hopefully that thing is going to get built now. Um, do that one for us, and do that one, and do... Did I pause it? It's not paused. Could not store all the potato harvest, and we'll need to... Um, set up this one as well and that should save us I think that should save us our food is fine I don't I don't I don't even need to worry about all of this stuff so that one's running at a pretty reasonable this one's running at a pretty reasonable as well that's okay just keep running I don't even I don't even mind if I can do an edict to actually give people more food I believe this needs a few more pieces and then I'll come over to this one but we do need um, this thing to run so that we can get this the slag out. We've seen any. Okay, what is the actual rated slag production here? I'm a little worried that it's going to be pretty low. 12 slag every 60 seconds. Um, so this one can effectively accommodate both of these um, facilities of slag production. Um, so that's good. That's good. That means all of our slag should be accounted for. Means all of our slag should be accounted for. Come on, let's get this one in there. I just want us to get um, these things up and running. We are creating our own coal by cutting down all of our trees, which is, um, at least for the starting point, is no problem whatsoever, because I do want to clear out m a much larger area for our, um, for, our for, for the stuff. Uh, can we sell, hang on, hang on, go back to trading. Can we actually sell some of our food? No, we can buy food, but we can't sell our food. If we could have s sold our food, that would have been pretty awesome. I don't want any of that scrap. 
Um, if anything, I'll try a few of these things so we can move a little bit more on that side. I could get a bit more diesel if I needed to, but I don't think that's actually necessary. Could go the other way as well, but I don't think any of that's necessary. Do we need any rubber? Not quite yet. We do need to get the rubber production up and running pretty soon. Come on, let's get a few more pieces going. There we go. That's done. So now things will move a little bit. Settlement water is built. This should be waiting on construction parts two. So let's get a few construction parts two going. But at least now we are starting to see some iron plates. Uh, which, oh, we actually ran out of iron plates. Oh, interestingly enough. This thing can do, so they can actually move it. We'll continue to move a few things through. We'll continue to see more slag being generated over here. Which should then be moved over. Excellent. So we'll start seeing some concrete being produced. Wow. Okay. I think we, uh, we, we, we turned the edge. Well, we're actually running through our trees pretty quickly. So let's move um, all of those trees out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Do them little by little. Okay. Then we may even start this way. Oh, I am seeing um, um, slag being crushed. That's beautiful. And that's going into here. And that should mean concrete being produced. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm liking it. So there we go. Concrete production is now happening. We are still wasting food products, which uh, at this point in time, there's not much I'm going to do about it just yet. Now, these guys are chopping down our trees pretty quickly. We do need to get um, um, this mining underway um, for the coal. We can't. Cer we certainly can't continuously produce um, the coal that is needed. Is this thing full? Pretty much. Well, there's a fair bit there. That one's full. Interesting. So we're actually doing a pretty decent job. We should start doing getting that sorted out now. Um, that means that this thing, I think, let's start getting that built up so that we can um, get that done. This should be deliverable. Do we have any missing is stuff missing? Yeah, you know what? Oh, this is all good. Oh, it's because it's fully loaded here. This thing is just waiting on one or two pieces from here. And from there. So what are you missing? Iron plates? Oh, we're out of iron plates completely? Okay, well... <laughs> We need to we need to get this moving. This one will take another 30. Is our system overwhelmed? Why are these guys uh not actually coming to build this? This should be being built. This should be built. Let's um I don't know. Do that. Do that. Come on, try that again. Come on. I just want us to get this thing up and running needs one part of the uh, of the yellows, the construction part twos. Are we getting concrete? Yes, concrete is being moved in over here. We are, we do have concrete available. We do have um, logs or wood available. The only thing is the iron plates is a little slow. So we should see, we have plenty of iron plates available. So why? It's just because of this, is it? Can I, can I, hang on, hang on. Is there, is there a way I can do a quick deliver of iron plates? No, 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 do that. Well, can I up your priority a little bit to nine and see if you're going to send someone out to go and get the iron plates over here? There's plenty of iron plates. It can't do any more. Are we really that stuck? Yeah, come on. Can I buy iron plates? Honestly, cannot buy anything. I can buy copper, <laughs> but I can't buy iron. <laughs> so, guys, what this means is don't get yourself stuck with stuff like this. What I can do is I can start to... There's still iron plates over here. Just why aren't you just delivering it? Oh, I think... I think... Hang on, hang on. If I go three harvester, can't find trees. Okay, so we're micromanaging big time at the moment. I'm kind of tempted to just maybe... Pyramid back over there and um, 
even over here. So let's make a little bit of room here so we can actually get to that mining. So that will do the trick. Can't actually demolish any of those things. Um, what I was wondering, can I... Should I have stuff? No. Should I... Hang on, hang on. Settlement water. Um, this is coming in. There's all this kind of stuff. It's fine. Don't, don't, I'm pausing it. I shouldn't pause it. Um, what, were I, what was I trying to do? This thing is full, right? So it's not doing any more. Um, why isn't... Is it there an edict or something that I need to do? For this thing to actually move things. It's We're not actually seeing any... All we need is a handful of these things to be transferred over there. Right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to demolish this thing. That that should help us out. Because that'll mean they'll, they'll, they'll automatically transfer this stuff somewhere. There we go. There we go. So that'll that'll sort it out. And we'll get some construction parts so that we can rebuild it over there. That that's that's awesome. Okay, that should sort it out. Wow, what a what a uh what a close call. Um that's happening, which I'm quite, quite comfortable with. Excellent. So that should be all good. The only thing we need is this one piece. So we need you to be working, right? You're working, so that should be fine. That should be fine. Don't overextend. <laughs> Once we've got that moving, things should be much better. And then I can build the rest of it and this thing will move way more efficiently. And then our next problem will become coal. Then our next problem will become coal. I'm, I'm trying to do this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I made some mistakes in terms of how I set some of this stuff up. Is this running out? No, there's still plenty of stuff available. But I do... We, do, we will need to... Um, re-maneuver one of these to go back into here and we're not making any rubber whatsoever right we'll do a bit of that and we'll see how we can how we can do multiple things there as the time goes by there we go iron plates ready to move excellent iron plates doing its thing I like it we should start seeing a little bit more going on. What do we need for this thing? Oh, that thing's fine. Um, well, even that's a little problematic. We do need to um, just get things moving a little bit more effectively. But this guy should now continue to move at least. So now I think our, our production should be good. Excellent. And we should have concrete over here being produced um, fairly reasonably. Um, cement is, yeah, dropping down a little bit. So we do need to get our cement production underway. Our rubber production is probably more important. Yeah, rubber production is something we need to have a look at. When we do rubber, where do we, rubber is, will be over here. Rubber maker um, takes diesel and coal to give us a rubber. So we can do some very basic rubber production and um, we'll do it over here so that we can also spill things out a little bit. So if I do... No, no, no. What did I do? Oh, I pressed. That's what I did the last time. So if we put some pipes in here, this is going to be a very temporary setup only. Because I do want us to put the wastewater out there as well. How much is that? That's 60 pieces though. So we need to just wait a little bit before I do that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get the rest of this going first. So we'll move these things a little quicker. Is it? Yeah, we're still kind of capped at that. But the rest is starting to move now. So let's, uh, let's get the rest of this going. That uh, I believe if we get the rest of that built, we should go a little quicker with uh, with these things, and everything else should move a little bit more effectively. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, okay, guys, I think that's kind of where we're going to end this episode. Slightly longer than I would have liked, but I just wanted us to um, get up and running with a few things. Um, and yeah, made a few mistakes along the way already. <laughs> it's only the start of the game. 
but at least it's given us a little bit of a heads up at how bad things can actually go if we don't uh, if we don't get it sorted out um, properly. This needs 30. Oh, well, it's not. There's not 30 available at all. What's this guy doing? Yeah. Let's see. Can we get? Yeah, it's actually. It's now starting to move. So we should be pretty reasonably um, creating some of these things. We just need to track them all, which is the the big challenge at the moment. Are we getting everything we need? Slowly, slowly. That would be really cool if we can just get all of that going. Be good. Excellent. This is slow, but I think we're still holding um, with uh, the harvesting of trees at the moment. Slag is coming in and all of that. This is actually filling up. Nice. I like that. I like that. Oh, yes, that one's running. That's good. Excellent. Copper plates will be the next one, but we have a fair bit of copper plates already. Um, yes, now this thing is now this thing is moving. Uh, we're going to run out of coal now because our coal production method is really painfully slow. Um, rubber is being used. Is this number going up? Not at all, really. This thing should be producing fairly consistently. Yeah, it is. It's just very slow. So we could go and and boost that a little bit um, to see about getting these things out a little bit quicker. Um, and then these things, um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to switch this over to, to here. So that we don't run out of that. What else are we running out of? No, the rest seems to be fairly reasonable. What are we doing over here? Oh, the one thing we, we're not doing, actually, let's uh, let's not do this one. Let's do that one instead and get a few things going there. So that's all fully loaded. It can it can start making them straight away. I think we're uh, and we'll we'll stop doing that. So after you finish that one, we'll stop it for a little while. Um, so we can get some uh, vehicle parts going again. The 24, I think, should give us enough for, for starting work on this side. But we're not also out of workers as well. So that's something that we'll need to start fixing. So we'll need to uh, move from this to our copper production in the next round. And then I want to really um, optimize what we're doing with, um, with, with assembly. I want to do a pretty big um, automated assembly facility in here. So that we uh, we don't have to constantly be micromanaging and like I'm doing at the moment. I don't mind it because it helps you keep an eye on things. Once things go automated, um, you tend to lose um, lose it lose it very quickly. Our water is still running pretty nicely, and our research is pretty much tracking along, doing everything we can before we need to start producing even more stuff. But the rubber is uh, probably going to be a big problem fairly soon. So. Once we have a fair bit of this, yeah, I can start doing the rubber. So let's add um, a rubber one um, right over here. Right, I'll do I'll do that so that at least things can still get here. So let's do the rubber. Uh, we will want to do a bit of this. That's okay. We will also want to. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to go. What, what we want to do is want to. Is that connection really invalid? Oh my! Yeah, I didn't quite think that through then. What is the cost of this one? Twenty. That's not right, is it? <laughs> it's going to cost me. It's going to be costly because I decided to build it there. Um, and really what I could have done is actually added a, a bit of a buffer so we can actually drop things off. Um, does this thing accept it? Can we actually get there? Like import doesn't actually work here. Okay, well, I'll fix that in the next episode. Coal is now starting to go down. 
but everything else is seemingly stable enough for us to survive and oh yeah absolutely so that we can we can certainly start doing doing some stuff we can even do the rubber maker without the pipe if we wanted to but yeah we do need to yeah do something do something okay guys i will see you next time if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button and leave me some comments down below am i uh are you super disappointed in me <laughs> okay we'll fix it don't worry we'll fix it see you next time bye bye